The audio's long-duration hypersonic cruise missile under Project Vishnu will be tested next year. Indian Naval Air Squadron Albatross at INS Rajli celebrated its 48th anniversary. An Indian Coast Guard ship chased down a Pakistani ship for two hours, and rescued seven Indian fishermen who were being taken to Pakistani waters. Almost four months after a major fire broke out on board the INS Brahmaputra at the Mumbai Naval Dockyard, the multi-role frigate is now upright. The Chennai Vladivostok Eastern Maritime Corridor has become fully operational. A Pakistani cargo ship docked at Bangladesh's Chittagong port last week, marking the first ever direct maritime contact between the two countries in over five decades. India has concluded a high-intensity tri-services exercise in the forward areas of Arunachal Pradesh, enhancing joint operational readiness. Pakistan Air Force has said, that its J-10CE fighter jets equipped with the KLJ-10 radar, provides an advantage of 50 km range in detecting targets as compared to its F-16 Block 52. Hindustan Aeronautics is finalizing an agreement with General Electric for local manufacturing of the F-414 engines in its Bangalore facility, and the deal is expected by the end of this year. HAL aims to produce the first F-414 engine by 2027, and the facility will have an annual production capacity of 30 F-414 engines at full scale. The initial contract covers the production of 99 F-414 engines for Tejas Mark II program, but the order for these engines is expected to potentially double, as it will also power 40 AMCA Mark I fighter jets, and HAL anticipates production of at least 200 engines by 2035. After the initial deliveries, HAL estimates that an additional 360 engines will be required over the next 40 years to sustain the operational readiness and longevity of the Tejas Mark II and AMCA fighter jets. The Ministry of Defense is focusing on foreign aircraft manufacturers that can assure high delivery rates under the MRFA program targeting 20 to 24 aircraft per year, however, experts have said that balancing the high delivery rates with localization requirements is a major concern. If India presses for rapid jet production and high localization simultaneously, it could face pushback from original equipment manufacturers, as setting up the local manufacturing of complex systems takes significant time and investment, and might affect quality control, increase costs, and extend project timelines. To accommodate the desired 20-24 delivery pace, experts suggest that the Defence Ministry may need to initially lower the localization requirements, or adopt a phased approach to localization, eventually scaling up to more advanced components. Today's Top 3 Comments Oh, my God.